actually even going as far as getting on top of one of the pews so his legs aren't okay. down there. There's the sounds of thumping heard uh, on the other side of the southern wall where the last thumping action took place. Trusty Tony finishes uh, reorganizing his, uh, his firearm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a little look around here. I think Trusty Tony's gonna go right here, because okay. this this does this does give him an angle on I th not all of the window, but most of it, okay. or at least you can. Keep in mind, it is still ten feet up in the air. It's not like people are just gonna fucking do like a a rolling leap out of it. Hey, give me enough, give me enough m momentum and three people, and I'll do it. Okay. You guys, take your positions. Okay. Time passes. Two minutes. Four minutes. All the paranoia. Six minutes. Look back over at Popman. Ten minutes. Still thumping out there? Yes. Incessant thumping along this other wall. Squeak, squeak. <sighs> along with random, unintelligible, like, uh, like moans. Fifteen minutes. You want me to go on, uh, deal with them? Well, uh, the only other option is to uh, go around and deal with them silently. Silently. The no. dog and the rat. Yeah. You have a great sword. I'm not <laughs> leaving this room against those. If they were walkers, fine. I'm not going out there to the hounds and the rats. 20 minutes. Well, they're eventually going to get through, hopefully. Maybe maybe if we just get far enough away from that wall, they might forget about us. Maybe. It's a, it's a, it's a very thick, sturdy, you know, wall. You know, not, you know, it's pretty, pretty hard material. It's not even made out of wood, come to think of it. The more you look at it, it's like made out of stone. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look... That's why it's the color of stone and not, say, the color of wood. Mm-hmm. Still can't sleep. So point. we're actually pretty fine here. Until, I have really fine until they learn how to, you know, do pyramids and shit. Uh, rat. How high are a couple dogs and a rat or whatever going to get with a pyramid? I don't know. Are they Great Danes? I don't know how dexterous these rats are still. They could climb up that wall. 20 well, to 25 minutes. Why don't we just try getting away from the wall and see if they wander off? Okay. Cat, pick up Hot Man. We're going to just try going over here for a while and see if that fixes. Putting Hot Man on the altar. Oh, are, are, are we <laughs> giving a blood sacrifice to our Lord Savior Jesus? Well, I mentioned that's only like four yards from that wall. Like, maybe we should move up to this side. Put him over here. Move over. Although Fletch is going to go grab his sleeping bag and drag it back with him. Start packing it up. Just in case. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well. Just click. <laughs> I accidentally uh, magnified the size of My that. sleeping bag can now accommodate <laughs> all the... <laughs> <laughs> all right. You uh, folks certainly uh, relocate yourselves. We'll roll up the sleeping bag and put it back uh, on the backpack. Uh, the beating sound that's on the southern wall stops. You notice as by the time you guys settle down up here in the north.
<sighs> God, okay, I think we can go back. To However, it is fairly shortly thereafter where just above, uh, just on the other side of the wall from Trusty Tony. <laughs> we don't want any. So, uh, yeah. So we gotta deal with this. Or we could go in the basement? How do you plan on dealing with this? I'm not sure. We can't just leave them out there. Stone walls, who's to say we can't? Because eventually we're gonna run out of food. We can't really go anywhere tonight, not with Eugene like this. We're not gonna. Be able to, I. I don't think we can do anything tonight. We can maybe try going in the basement and see if that quiets. We can at least get some rest from them. But if they get through the barricades up here, there's no other way out. Well, at this point, it sounds like they're all around us, anyways. And I'd rather be able to see where the enemies. I'd rather be able to see where they are. Mm. Don't much like the idea of holding up in the basement. Oh, we're not really in much position to ask for other things. Unless you want to run off without uh, Eugene here. I'd rather we just keep our place here inside the whatever you call this hall area. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't think anyone's going to get any rest tonight with that pounding. Well, consider this, from what Trusty Tony would remember. If these things can possibly sense you X amount of feet or yards away, whatever that number is that Trusty Tony uh, is, uh, keeps inflating with every single session, then uh, that it's possible that no matter where you go, if, they're, if it's possible that you're close enough to a wall, they're going to sense you and they'll lock onto you and stay locked. That's what apparently. I'm saying, we have to deal with them. Not going to fight outside of a doorway. There's something between them. Mm -hmm. I would rather not, you know, be out so in the open where they could we surround draw you. them to a doorway. You mean basically do what we were basically do what we did this morning, what afternoon? Much. That's what it sounds like. Sure. Why not? If they're right up, if they're right up against the wall here, why don't we just walk them to the door? And then do what? Shoot them. Walk the zombie. Huh? Take care of them however we have to. What time is it? Would we guess by now, Grimma? Oh, you're looking at about 10.20 p.m. Yeah, the alternative is eight hours of that. Uh, I'll have to sleep if we don't. Well, you, uh, you want to give it a morning, shot? Then in the morning, what, we're going to fight them off while we're all tired? That doesn't sound any better. Yeah. We just stand back from the door. Okay. Somebody can walk them around, and we just shoot them as they come into sight. Well, there is the, there is the idea that there are or dogs. bash them when they come into sight. Yeah, right. that's why I'm that's why I'm not willing to stand right up at the door. All right. Rather for anybody to be standing right at the door. We do have the pews set up so that a rat can't just walk underneath them right now. Yes, we have made that advancement in technology. <laughs> We've got plus one pew technology. Well, we if you want, if we're going to do that, we should probably use these last six or so pews and try to, you know, 
make them useful? If we can do that? Hmm. How would we do that? Hmm. Any ideas? Because the way they are, they're just basically... They just sort of funnel the enemies around these areas, or they go over the pews. Well, we could turn them on their side so that they are a solid... Okay. That turn that them works. on the side so they're solid and... Wasn't uh, expecting that whenever I did that. <laughs> Interesting. The pews have directions. They've right. become tokens. Yeah. I, I, I did change them to tokens, and uh, clear... Facing? Where's that at? I changed on the tokens. Was that so uh, you guys could actually end up moving them? And what I will actually end up doing is changing them so that they're top down. So that they can rotate a bit better? Is that right? Nope. Whatever. What do you want to do with them? Hmm. What do you want to do? Flit, uh, Ryan, you seem to have the best idea. If we turn them on their sides and funnel them into a bottleneck so all the zombies have to come down to like one or two squares, we just shoot shoot the dangerous things, the rats and the dogs, and shoot or bash the walkers. Uh. That way they can't uh, get around us. All right. Gonna just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cues. May I assume something like that? Hmm. Yeah. We could fight them, fight them at the door, and then if it's too much, we can fall back to a choke point. Yeah, that would work. I that think. There we go, I made these bottom three, like, top-down, so you guys should be able to, uh, fiddle with those, and, uh, I do believe I have made, um, those other ones at the top, top-down, so you guys can flip those. something like that then we could actually if we have to fall back people could stand like all around it and kind of hit them as they come through yeah makes sense just gotta keep the crystal safe which is I assume pot man <laughs> smooth pot man Wait, where is oh there he is I'm like where's pot oh okay so then we gotta put him in the safest place here, which I don't know where that is. <laughs> you say defend, d d defend the pot man. <laughs> yes, pot man, you're the, you're the attorney. Put, put him back on defense. the altar. <laughs> pot man defense, mark one. Oh, shit. Good. Complete with weed block DLC. <laughs> yeah. Got my own, like, yes. character, yes. character art concepts. That, that, that's a... That's a day one launch DLC that's free if you purchase the game. Okay. It's also already on the disc. Oh god, where am I? Chose to drag yourself beneath all the tokens. <laughs> the other tokens. Ah, help me. <laughs> no, no, there is no help. <laughs> trusty Tony, this is how Trusty Tony dies. There we go. Underneath. Smothered uh, beneath <laughs> a pile of pews. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we all get away from the wall and then one person walks them around towards the door, they should find yeah. their way. Is that where you guys want the pews? 
I it's like about as good as we're gonna get. We've got multiple choke points to fall behind. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh. I think this is a good spot. For, I think this is the spot for trusty Tony. And I've put them back on the object layer then. Okay. Let me find the ranges on this rifle. I've got this right here. It's five five six, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a civilian. N it's a civilian rifle. Okay, so 10, ten fifty one fifty. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. He's got. He's got the old trusty twig. He's got the old trusty nine millimeter pistol. Every single one of your weapons has the suffix or prefix trusty. Yes, I have a trust. I have a trusty ten millimeter pistol. A trusty shotgun. And there's a trusty 22 out that window. Yeah. The, 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 I trust that 22 with my life. <laughs> Do you? It saved it. Did there, it? There's uh, been quite a bit of noise inside as you guys have moved things, but uh, you notice uh, as you all have relocated positions that the beating that was on the northern wall has shifted and is currently locked in sort of like northwest from where trusty Tony and Cat are. Hmm. If y'all move a little bit south, they should round that corner. Now, currently, we have no vision through there, right? Uh, the the pew the is in open. the way, and the doors are closed. Right. So no vision. How tall is a side pew? Tall enough to completely obstruct your vision. Sure. Even Miss Six Three. Well, it's not like you, Catherine, exactly has a, a gun that she can shoot sure through all, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna go hold Tony up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Someone get it. Put me in the game, Coach. You're looking at a negative ten penalty there. <laughs> so I guess. Flip the pew back down, and I'm not dealing with rats. There were rats. We're not flipping it. Let's get him a uh, chair, or something to stand on. I mean, uh, certainly uh, Jeremy could shoot over it. It's just from so far back there, you wouldn't exactly have a large window of uh, opportunity. The doors aren't that huge. It's not like it's a major church here. They're not that tall vertically. Rotated a bit. The uh, the the pew probably stands maybe about uh, uh rotated as it is and pivoted such maybe four feet off the ground. Doors probably eight feet. So you've got clearance. The problem is that any dog standing on its fucking legs or any rat, you wouldn't be able to see it to shoot it anyway. Well, we got a couple chairs here south of the doors. Well, one of them's kind of been cowed. The other one, uh, yeah, that one, that one, the other one works fine. Yeah, this, uh, this chair should more be considered pieces of chair. <laughs> <laughs> certainly Tony, chair. Tony just, Tony just put it there because, you yeah. know, if... Over. The wood formerly known as chair. That's right, you, you guys could pull out more chairs from either the basement or from, uh, that room leading to the basement. Yeah, we can go, go get more chairs. That's gonna I guess get two more chairs and pull up Break this chair. one from the cell. All right. And put them up, uh, I guess, at the front so we can stand on them. Okay. <laughs> Standing we, on chair. We, we look s so silly. All right, so... Uh, and Potman is still at the altar. <laughs> on the altar. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we... How can we pop the doors open? <laughs> <laughs> I've got it's a, a very, it's a very good question. With the claymore, <laughs> that's that's not gonna open them. That doesn't exactly put pressure on the, you know, that lever. You know, it's like one of those like school doors. That you see, you just push it open and it goes open. You really can't get a get a good angle. What with the pew standing here and all. Mm. Basically, we can't use the pew like this. Still not flipping that pew. Saw what that rat did. 
I mean, you would just have to get the doors open somehow, and then, you know, that the pew could be quickly flipped back to its position. Yes. Mm hmm. I hear that tone, and I don't believe you. <laughs> hmm. Everyone well, be properly paranoid and indecisive. It's great. I've already said my piece, but if let's uh, let's uh, uh, let's uh, okay, 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 okay. Like we could, we could honestly just move the pew out of the way, stand back, shoot them as they come in, and then what use about the, the rats and the dogs? Well, that's the reason why we have those other pews on their sides, creating a bottleneck. Okay. Beating, so they, beating uh, begins on the far other wall, yeah, near he, where Potman is. He's fine. Stone walls. He's keeping some of them occupied. He's doing his part, even in his stupor. So what about mm. that? We we move this front pew all together. We position ourselves as a bottleneck here with these pews on their side so they can't scurry in anywhere else and then just stand back and try to pick them off before they get there. Or even stand out like Melee could stand out in the open with ranged immediately behind and then they have nothing to hide under. Because that negative six is what was fucking us. Because nobody wanted to deal with it. I mean, come on, we can't just wait until morning. You remember what type of penalties were imposed on us for being tired. There's absolutely uh, no way. Oh, we are on chairs. Well, no, okay. she's tall enough. She can do an overhand thing to push. You're, with you're the like eight the feet door. tall. Just reach over with your mammoth yeah, hand and open that door. You you really can't. Come get on, giant hands. Leverage. <laughs> you're six feet tall. You're standing on the chair, but even then, you have to bend and contort yourself and somehow put forth enough pressure that you swing the door open. Then and even then, it would just close right back in on itself because you're not putting those little stoppers down. Even then, it still <laughs> closes because you're not putting the little stoppers down to keep it open. It just swing back shut. Okay, 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 uh, okay. How about this? I don't care yeah. how many, uh, how much acrobatics you have there. You're cat, looking cat, at a minus cat, 15. Cat, 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 cat. <laughs> well, we're gonna get off the, you and me are going to get off the chairs, and we're going to push the door open, okay? Okay. No, we're getting off the chairs. We're getting off the chairs. Cutting off the chair. Okay, we're getting off the chairs. And then you and me are going to push the doors open, okay? Pushing the door open. All right. All right. All right. And if anything evil tries to bite us... Fletch is going to shoot it, right? You're, you're, yes. you're, you're pushing that there's a pew in the way. We're going to move the pew out of the way, then we're going to push the door open. Okay. Move the pew out of the way of one of the doors. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that works. That's, then move that chair, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. We're, and we're going to push those doors open. Okay. The doors are pushed open. And it's time to flip away, like, hand standing all the so way back. You get one little action to do uh, before I uh, before I reveal vision here. Run the fuck away. You, yeah, you, 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 you can each move five squares. Try to get back through the bottleneck. Nope. This is five squares where I am right now. There you go. Well, Tony's going to move there. And then you guys can roll initiative. Oh, dear God. And uh, I won't sort yet. That's a nice little pile of enemies there. Yeah, let's go ahead and roll initiative for you. I'll roll, roll initiative for you. I'll roll initiative for you. Cool. Let's see here. It's first uh, Tony, and then Kathleen, and then. Fletch, as long as he sticks to range. And then, yeah, they ran over the dog. That's fine. I'm just picturing Potman waking up on the altar, everyone else dead. <laughs> the uh, altar that's still covered in his blood. Yeah. 
going to move here, and that's my turn. Okay. I'll do it on, I'll do it on my turn as well. Yeah, move over there. Like you all manage to kill the zombies and then bleed out yourselves. And then Pop just like, wakes up like, what the fuck? Fletch, you don't have angle to shoot anything. Right. Uh, if you guys want to take up spots on either side, nothing can come through without being exposed to everybody attacking them. Yeah. I'm going over... Uh, Why am I holding down spacebar like that's my push to talk? I die. <laughs> Herder! So what are you going to do then, Ryan? Um... Should I delay until something comes in sight? <laughs> You're thinking of a more tactical game than what this is. Well, we've is. <laughs> done it earlier. I'll just not do anything right now then. All right. Hey, Tony, you can go ahead and move. This would be a great time to, uh, you know, have, like, Molotov cocktails. Okay. To burn down the church. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's made of stone, so, so we wouldn't burn down so the church. You've done that before, sure, uh, Ryan, but you've done that before when you've at least had an idea of, like, a target sighted. <laughs> I can see a rat. No, it's down a staircase. Uh, it's yeah. not actually within view of your vision, according to what the VBL says. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Why does it sound like a train? <laughs> It is it's what Grimoth knows. Yep. <laughs> it's what I know. And it's not exactly on the grid, because none of these were on the grid with how they were piled up. And then we've got the the rats, which have no problem at all navigating. Then we've got... All piled up together now. And no, not you. Here we go. And then we've got the dogs, who are a little bit slower. There you go. Uh. Oh boy. Fucking uh, um. There's quite a lot of noise. Thinking back on it, quite a lot of it with the ten millimeter pistols, you know. Firing off in the night, then the constant repeated beating against Something the stones. Like Twenty-five shots were fired from up there. Yeah, yeah, quite in very a lot of fast noise succession, echoing through the night. So, you guys want me to uh, shoot the cow? Shoot the cow. I'm going to shoot the cow okay. in the head. Is this going to be an aim shot, or you just? Yes, gonna... it's going to be an aim shot. I don't no, think. No. <laughs> Use, I... use multiple shots right now That's before gonna, it can uh... burst through the pews. Okay. Get ready for rat. Alright, no it's fine. Fletch? Can you target multiple things? Uh... With multiple shots? Uh, that would count as being multiple actions. And then each action would take a minus two penalty. Well, I'm most worried about those fast dogs. So I'm going to take... Uh... Three shots at head of the lead dog. Okay. It's fine then. Tony, you can go ahead and do your aim. Okay. Let me just hopefully not fuck this up. Alright, that's three successes for a plus three. Yeah. Cat is waiting. Fletch. Uh, pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. I think I have these right. Two hits. Let me go ahead and mouse over that. It's a plus five, and it's a plus one because your skill is reduced than the headshot. Yeah, looks like two hits. Woohoo! Go ahead and roll some damage for me. So that is d8 times four. Mm-hmm. Fletch the dog killer. 32. Wow. Head and upper torso splattered against the uh, the other pews as well as back there by the door as Fletch lifts the AR-15 and blows it apart. Well, on the bright side, the uh, the uh, stray dog population is no longer going to be an issue in the town. We had a <laughs> lot of dogs. 